I'd like to uh, call to order the February, Tuesday, February 21st, 2017 uh, regular meeting of the Iredell County Board of Commissioners. Uh, at this time, I would ask everyone to please uh, bow their heads in uh, silent prayer uh, and especially to keep uh, in your prayers uh, uh, the Bowles family, uh, uh, Commissioner Bowles lost his mother uh, yesterday evening. Thanks, man. And uh, just celebrate her life. Uh, so please bow your heads. you'll please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, uh, we're going to present a, a special recognition to uh, Mrs. Amy Ryan, who is the principal of East Ireland Elementary School, who has been named uh, not only the principal of the year for 2016-17 uh, for Ireland Statesville Schools, but also the principal of the year for the Southwest region. Uh, she will be moving on to compete uh, with other regional finalists for the uh, Principal of the Year for North Carolina, I believe, on March the 3rd. So, Ms. Ryan?
Okay, uh, Mr. Smith, uh, are there any uh, adjustments to the agenda? Yes, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to move item 12, public comment period, up on the agenda to just behind, <clears throat> excuse me, just before uh, item eight, the administrative matters. Okay. Is there a motion to approve the agenda as amended? So moved. Uh, motion uh, made by Commissioner Halp. All in favor, please say aye. 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 As opposed, like sign. Motion carries unanimously. Okay, then there are no appointments before the board this evening, so we will move as just amended to the public comment period, which will precede uh, the um, hearing for a request from the planning division staff for approval of a text amendment to the land development code. So at this time, uh, we have two people that have signed up, and I would ask uh, Tammy Wilcox, please come up. And please uh, state your name and your address. My name is Tammy Wilcox, and I live at 140 Wilcox Carriker Lane in Statesville. And I just have a very quick... Um, thank you tonight to um, the planning department, Matthew Todd and Jake Lohman, for helping us through this whole process. Um, it's been difficult for them. They've been very patient with us, and we really like to thank them and for everything that they've done. Although they didn't give us exactly what we asked for, but they've worked hard in, in getting to where they are tonight. So before anything else said and before this takes place, we just want to say thank you to them for helping us out through this process. They were really a lot of help. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Wilcox. Uh, next, uh, Ms. Melissa Nieder. Good evening. My name's <coughs> Melissa Nieder. It's 634 Elmwood Road. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, whether it's been a good day or whether it's been a bad day, home is the place we look forward to going. It's the place we feel safe. It's where we feel protected. Some people earn their living from their home. Some people farm their land. They spend time at their home, which is where you want to feel at peace, where you can experience nature, where you can step out your door and feel safe with your family. Um, also, it's like you need to recoup after some days. You walk in there, you take your shoes off, you get comfortable, and you say, let me gain some strength so I can step out that door tomorrow morning and face whatever I need to face. Well, Elmwood Strong would like to thank you for allowing us to speak over these past several months. We've spoken before you. We've spoken to planning board. And we thank you for listening. We thank you for reading the materials we have provided. You've watched our videos. You've given us an opportunity to be a part of a process, and we appreciate that. We're protecting our citizens of Ardo County is very important to us. We reach outside of our neighborhood. Our concern goes throughout the county. Elmwood Strong is stronger, and we are getting stronger. And we will continue our mission to protect farmland and the tranquility of nature. You see our faces out here this evening. And as we leave from here this evening, and you see the back of our red shirts, please remember where our homes are. Remember where we live. Remember our farms. We are all proud to call Ardo County our home. Thank you. I want to thank both uh, Ms. Wilcox and Ms. Nieder for uh, your multiple pr uh, presentations and uh, everyone in uh, the Elmwood Strong uh, community uh, for their involvement and their uh, commitment to uh, be able to uh, use the democratic process to produce a desired result. Um, at this time, uh, we will uh, 
close the public comment period and move to uh, the uh, next item on the uh, agenda, which is item 8.1, request from the Planning Division staff for approval of a text amendment to the Land Development Code. And Mr. Matthew Todd uh, will uh, outline uh, a proposal uh, for our consideration. Good evening to the board. From the, uh, the meeting when this was last presented, I'll go over those changes, and then uh, if there's any additional questions, I'd be glad to answer those as well. The, uh, the setbacks, and I'll just jump right into it, the setbacks for asphalt plants, uh, original, well, at the last meeting where we presented this was at 200 feet from any residential zoning district. That is increasing to a 300 foot setback from any residential district. It stays at 100 feet from commercial and 50 feet from industrial. So again, that changed from 200 to 300. And, and again, with these setbacks, these are measured from the property line of the use to the inside. So you would follow the property line, come in 300 feet or whatever the setback is, and, and that is the setback area where the use is not permitted. Uh, going on to uh, R56, there were several changes that the, the board wanted from the last meeting. Uh, some of it's clarification, some of it had to do with increasing the setback distance. Uh, first is to add the uh, verbiage of clay and sand with the extraction part. Those uses uh, currently in the code have a 50-foot setback. What was proposed would, th would be that they still had a 50-foot setback, but we're clarifying that again for clay and sand extraction only that those uses would have a 50 foot setback uh, on to the to the blasting crushing a rock processing of stone uh, originally that came before this board with a 300 foot proposed uh, that's increasing to a 500 foot setback from the property line uh, and again currently in the code i believe it's 50 50 feet i believe currently so that that's going to 500 and increasing from 300 at the last meeting. Uh, the uh, setback from perennial stream stays at 100 feet, which is what's been proposed throughout this text amendment process. And then uh, there's an additional setback requirement from the last one, and, and really there's not a number associated with it, but the intent of the statement is to draw the attention of, if it's this board and it's a rezoning process, to, to an industrial, to the M2 zoning district, this board at that point would have the option, and really the ordinance is encouraging that this board look at the surrounding land uses, look at other residential structures, look at farm uses, look at commercial uses, and determine if there's a need for what sometimes is referred to a blasting line, um, but, all, but essentially is a setback from those structures. So again, it's really, it's trying to draw attention. It, it doesn't have a set number in place, but it's just drawing attention that that needs to be considered through the approval process. And again, that would be a distance measured from whatever structure the, the board deemed necessary to whatever you, to, to the use that's being proposed. And, uh, and then also um, for security, security fencing, uh, that's being increased to the eight feet over the six feet, and that's for the blasting operations. That's not for clay and sand extraction, just for blasting operation. Again, that's essentially the changes from the last meeting, um, and I'd be happy to answer any questions uh, with regard to those changes or any other sections. Are there any questions Estimate. for Mr. Todd? Are there any uh, comments uh, any commissioners would like to make? Matthew, I, I, I don't know if you have the presentation in the computer or not. Is there any way to pull up the picture of the county where it shows what 500-foot setback looks like? Is that going to take a while? If it is, that's fine. We've got it in our packet. Yeah, I, it does not appear to be on the computer anymore. That's fine. That's fine. I, I, I just wanted to say thank you to staff for the work you put in and the planning board also all of you citizens from elmwood strong and others that the timelines and emails and surveys and all the things that you guys have done 
sitting here, this board took all of that seriously. Um, we appreciate your input. We hear you. We understand where you're coming from. Sitting in this seat, some of the complexities are, you know, we govern 592 square miles, and a text amendment affects all of Iredell County, not just the Elmwood area. So keep in mind what we do tonight is a minimum setback. For, for the setbacks for the various uses. So I just wanted to say thank you for the efforts and hard work you guys have put in. We heard you, we worked hard on it. Um, and you know, I know you're gonna feel like that you compromised or that we may have let you down to some degree, but we did all we could without prohibiting uh, future growth in the county. And, it, and we could have gotten into a legal situation potentially uh, when you come in and, and you, <coughs> the term would be taking a property and you prohibit people from using their property for its intended purposes. So we heard you, we thank you for your efforts. Um, no decision is ever easy, but we did what we thought we could do for you. But we just wanted to say thank you for everything you guys have all done. I'd like to speak to the Elmwood community as well. What we are doing here tonight is making a text amendment change, which is gonna basically just put a guideline on a piece of paper. When an industry comes to this county, it will be site-specific planning development, and when they present their site plan, the, the planning staff, the planning board, and this group of commissioners during a rezone would take a hard critical look at that and try to fit that industry on that piece of property. A lot of what we do is satisfying the offended without offending the satisfied. But nevertheless, this, this board is committed to preserving your way of life and what you enjoy as well as trying to attract industry to come to our county so we're going to give you the protection i believe that you need through this process i'd just like to state also that uh we we have worked diligently and we have listened and we have heard and we did appreciate the hard work put into the survey that was sent to us here dan uh know this uh your voice is heard You've been part of government. Sometimes government don't always work out like you want it to. Uh, I've made references before to it being like making sausage. Uh, I won't go into all that, but nobody really wants to see that. You just hope it works out at the end and tastes good, not leave a bad taste in your mouth. Uh, that being said, uh, some days you walk out and you think you haven't won, uh, but when you look back, maybe you have, and that's the only solace I can give to you. That's the only solace. Do know this, it will have to come between, uh, before a board that is elected by the people of Iredell County to be put in place. And I think as long as that's there, then you'll have a say. I just want to thank our planning staff for working with the community, Emerald community, and I want to thank Emerald community for working with our staff. Without your efforts, we could not have done this. Without your concern, we would not have done this. Thank you. Well, let me just say kudos to Elmwood Strong for uh, taking a countywide perspective on uh, this issue and not just a parochial NIMBY issue, uh, you know. And that's the way we approached it, was to look at the entire county and any community that might be affected by uh, proposed industrial uses that uh, have the potential to impact their neighbors. And, you know, uh, you can feel very good, I believe, about what you have accomplished. You know, you've taken a 50-foot, which I don't think extended across this room, uh, and uh, extended that by 10 times. Uh, that's a greater level of protection than uh, any of our surrounding counties have. Uh, Rowan County is like 300 feet. Uh, so you're protecting more of Rowan County than uh, they are of us. Um, secondly, uh, you know, you, you have a layered, we have a layered approach to, you know, protecting people's uh, livelihoods and their lifestyles. Uh, firstly, there has to be an actual uh, change in the zoning. Uh, which has to go through staff uh, to uh, M2, which is a difficult 
zoning categorization to uh, get approved. Uh, secondly, uh, you have an increased setback of 500 feet. Um, there is also, wasn't mentioned specifically, but there is also an increase from 50 feet to 100 feet of any uh, activity to a perennial stream. Um, that brings that in line with uh, state watershed regulations. Uh, so um, those protections have been increased. And finally, and this, I really can't emphasize this enough, uh, the language of the text amendment allows future boards to be able to look at any issue or consideration because all of these sites are going to be different. They're going to have different uh, geologic uh, characteristics. They're going to have uh, different neighborhood characteristics or proximity to specific types of farming operations. And so uh, this board uh, will have the ability to uh, look at those and to take into account for instance, the survey results that you produced, which uh, provided input from actual neighbors uh, about the effects that, uh, you know, they perceived uh, to have been uh, experienced by them, whether that was foundation shifting or cracking or driveways cracking or uh, just hearing blasts or uh, feeling those and at different uh, um, distances. Uh, you know, so the topography of the land uh, is going to make a difference. Uh, and so uh, the point is that future commissions will have in the, in the regulation uh, the heads up that uh, they should take into account all of these different factors. Um, and the 500-foot setback is a minimum. They could easily say, no, we think a 1,000 foot or 2,000 foot or a mile. Uh, it just depends on the, the nature of that specific request and the specific uh, location. So um, I believe that, you know, uh, you have a, a commitment. I hope you feel you have a commitment from this board uh, to protect your lifestyles and to protect your uh, livelihoods. Uh, and that we take that very seriously. As you know, there's, there's not been a specific proposal before us to evaluate, but we have put out, I think, very uh, stringent and uh, uh, guidelines that will put anyone on notice. Uh, and one other issue that, uh, that we will do is, uh, as you know, uh, we have uh, no control over uh, annexation processes uh, that uh, are conducted by any of the municipalities, uh, but we will, uh, under my signature, send a letter to all of our uh, municipalities, uh, acqu acquainting them, alerting them to the change in our uh, regulations uh, for the protection of our county residents, and that uh, asking them, uh, in the spirit of uh, comedy, to uh, take those uh, regular restrictions uh, into account as they apply their own uh, criteria to make those decisions. Uh, we legally have no control over that, but um, you know, all of us, our municipalities and the county, uh, work together on a lot of different issues, and uh, I don't think anyone wants to poison the well. Uh, so, thank you again, and uh, at this time, I think if there's nothing else, uh, we'll take about a uh, uh, five-minute recess so that anybody that uh, doesn't want to plow through the rest of our agenda can uh, uh, depart. And uh, we thank you for being here. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Oh, well, <laughs> you, want me to, you want to make the motion and vote first? Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, One more thing. I got a little thing. bit ahead of the car. Okay, uh, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion. I'd like to make a motion to approve the text amendment as presented by staff with the following, with the following revisions. 
under section R53, asphalt and concrete, sections A1, the minimum setback from any residential zoning district shall be changed from 200 feet to 300 feet. Number two, section R56, A4, shall be revised to read the blast line, which shall be the minimum setback of blasting operations from the adjacent uses, in parentheses, residential, non-residential, and farm uses, close parentheses, shall be rev reviewed and may be established during the approval process in the future. Okay. Motion by uh, Commissioner Howe. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, like sign. Motion carries unanimously. We will now uh, recess for five minutes.
Okay, we will now uh, resume with uh, open session uh, and proceeding on to uh, the other administrative matters uh, that uh, were uh, discussed at the pre-agenda uh, and are appropriate for a consent motion. And uh, Mr. Smith, would you please summarize those? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, in closed session, the following items were reviewed and put on this agenda at the pre-agenda meeting. Uh, item 8.2, a request from the Iredell County Ecom to pursue a grant from the NC911 board for the public safety facility or the construction of the public safety facility. And this would be in the amount of $4.6 million dollars and we are looking at over a $10 million project in which this would um, take a huge chunk off of our overall um, price tag. So uh, we have definitely got our fingers crossed on this one that we get the entire amount. Uh, item number two is a request from Tax Administration for approval of the January 2017 refunds and releases. Item three is a request by Administration uh, for adoption of the updated rules of procedure with the change that would allow for the suspension of rules uh, based on a majority of the of the board that is in place or at the meeting at the time. And item four, which is actually five on the agenda, I apologize, a request from the clerk to the board for approval of minutes from the meeting on February 7th, 2017. Is there any uh, comment on the uh, administrative matters? Uh, is there a motion to approve? Mr. The Chairman, I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Okay, motion by Commissioner McNeely. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Uh, uh, opposed, like sign. Motion carries unanimously. Uh, we have no announcements of any vacancies for any boards or commissions this evening. Uh, we do have, uh, uh, under the appointments to boards and commissions, item 10.1, uh, six appointments to the Board of Equalization and Review. Is there a motion in that matter? Is that me? <laughs> so, Slow yeah. move, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> okay. Call, call him at the wrong time. Call me with my Just, mouth. Uh, for the record, uh, Mr. Mike Loftus, Carl Lombardo, Don Daniel, Thomas Connolly, Mike Brotherton, and Dan Howard as alternate. Uh, have volunteered uh, to serve on the Board of Equalization and Review. Uh, motion by uh, Vice Chairman Bowles. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Let's aye. oppose like sign. Motion carries unanimously. Uh, the uh, next item relates to the Idle Station Schools Facilities Task Force, uh, seven appointments. Um, those uh, uh, we are going to uh, likely uh, we have not received all the applicant uh, information yet, so we are going to be holding that matter open for uh, another two weeks to our uh, next meeting. Uh, is there a motion? So moved to continue <laughs> till March 7th meeting. Motion by Commissioner Howe. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, like sign. Motion carries unanimously. Okay, move on to uh, item nine, unfinished business. Not hearing any unfinished business. Uh, item uh, 12, the public comment period was uh, moved earlier. Um, any new business? Item 13. Item 14, uh, the county manager's report, Mr. Smith. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'm going to pass down your agenda packet for Thursday and Friday of this week um, some heavy reading between now and then <laughs> admittedly we there, not everything is in there uh, we have been working diligently to get everything put together um, you know a lot of what we're looking at is looking into the future building into a process and building into projects and it, you know, admittedly, that's pretty difficult to put together sometimes, especially when you're at the very forefront of the budget process. So bear with us. I think we've got about, I'd say, 80% of our information available, uh, but we will certainly be adding to that uh, Thursday and Friday. 
And that's really all I have. But I would like to take just a minute. I never do this, but I'd like to recognize somebody in the crowd. Um, Bill Jeter, uh, if you'll stand up. He did, Bill did not know I was going to be doing this. Um, Bill has recently taken on a supervisor's role in ecom, and this man has an infectious personality who always, when we talk, makes me feel like a better person. And Bill, you know, I just saw him sitting out there, and I had to say something. So I appreciate you, Bill, and, th and congratulations. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, I may be wrong, but do we need to take care of these under new business from the previous closed session? I think I'm finished. I'm not sure where you want to do those. I just didn't want you to miss them. Um, I think when we come back from the closed session, we've got do it afterwards. a couple of, yeah, okay. throw them into the uh, mix. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I yeah, appreciate it. Okay, uh, any uh, comments about the uh, report from Mr. Smith? Uh, just uh, in advance, I want to thank the staff for the tremendous uh, effort. I know that goes into uh, these periodic meetings uh, to be able, and particularly prior to the budget season. It is, uh, fair, it is intense. And uh, thank you for the, all the hours that you put in and for all the people that are not here that are probably in uh, various states of recovery from their daily uh, work in terms of uh, preparing us. Uh, but it's absolutely critical for us to be able to understand and get context uh, so we can uh, set s some goals that everyone can be working toward and be able to uh, achieve those goals uh, efficiently and effectively. So thank you in advance. Okay, now uh, at this time, uh, we'll go into closed session uh, to review a personnel matter pursuant to General Statute 143-318.11, subsection A6.
All right, we will now uh, resume uh, open session. Uh, there are no uh, issues to report out for action uh, for personnel. Uh, we do have three uh, economic development uh, motions that uh, were discussed at uh, pre-agenda, but uh, that uh, the motions were going to be heard in open session. So is there a motion? Mr. Ch Mr. Chairman, I would make the motion on Project Lightning uh, to extend the time period in which to execute a contract with Roush Yates Racing Engines, LLC, by 180 days and reapprove an economic incentive of $74,905 over a five-year period for their company's investment of $3.5 million. A motion by uh, Vice Chairman Bowles. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Uh, aye. aye. As opposed, like sign. Motion carries unanimously. Uh, second motion. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll go ahead, whatever. Motion to extend the time period in which to execute a contract. Uh, this is Project Horsepower, excuse me. Motion to extend the time period in which to execute a contract with Cook's Custom Headers Incorporated by 180 days and reapprove an economic incentive of $65,832 over a five year period. The company's investment of $3,120,000. A motion by, uh, made by uh, Commissioner McNeely. Any further discussion? All in favor, favor, please say aye. Aye. Uh, those opposed, like sign. Motion carries unanimously. And our final motion. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion on Project Stewie. Motion to extend the time period in which to execute a contract with Structure Medical, Inc. by 180 <coughs> days and reapprove an economic incentive of 63300 over a five-year period on the company's investment of $3 million. A motion by uh, Commissioner Halp. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 As opposed, like sign. Uh, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Motion to adjourn by Commissioner Halp. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. We are adjourned. Yeah,